Good afternoon, ladies and G and Torman. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and a bit amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one and only master of propaganda, Hero of Strike, defender of the fatherland of Hito Wami on Taranta coastline. In the south, we have Stana. And we got my co Basil the Kitty Cat running around the background. But Stana here fighting for America, freedom, democracy, here with the second armored division, straight into the armored battle group here, with also very early utility package here, fast Jeep as well. In the east stands Zunteva, fighting for the Deutsches Afrika Corps. Here with the 15th Panzergrenadier Division. And we got Basil playing around with something. I don't know what it is, but it's probably not good. So, off to the races we are here with the bike side as well. Both players going for something a bit motorized here. Though obviously, Stana has a bit of advantage with his Jeep immediately being a veteran G1. Rav's got falling up here for Stana and Panzergrenadiers of Azuntev. As always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for the continued and generous support of the propaganda cast. Allows me to keep making all these videos, so every bit helps there. And of course, big thanks to those who keep commenting and liking my videos. Helps out immensely as well. So, Jeep sitting out there for the love of freedom, democracy, liberty and apple pie. German force saying North is here rapidly and aggressively. So yeah, that's Basil. Jeep, they're growing points here. Steady approach here from both sides. Basil running off. Scouts saying Norfords. Those wondering why is it a quarter ton truck? It's because that's what it was designed to weigh. Like basically they set out like, you know, these you know designations when ordering a vehicle. It's like, you know, it needs to weigh this and this much. We can like, you know, predict how much roughly it's going to use in terms of resources, place, space and all that sort of stuff there. So little fun sight no there. 250 after get of the Zunte, the Leiter Schützen Panzerwagen. Deep going for the car point here, 250 after that's going to counter that. Deep firing away that the gun is at it, it's Bob from Wisconsin. The Hafter going in the Rapscore Minion, it's going to be a bit of a nasty engage in Panzer's right here. Jeep being pushed back, Hafter's hitting damage up north here. Bike and Panzer Pionia are hard at work as well there. Rapscore mentor into the point neutral and then fall back towards Heavy Cali behind an old Italian truck. Panzer going to up here, of course, already boosted thanks to the combined arms bonus here. We'll have to see what happens next here for Suntev. Stana with more riflemen, more GIs of North here. Bike pushing in, Panzer Pionia himself, which assist here. By the car point, Zuntev's almost managed to get it back here. Gene there lies quite lifeless in the grass. Moving in here. Put Tron flank around here. Jeep, though, is already fixed up here. Good work by Stana. Mission point being ceases so far. Stana's managed to get most of the victory points. Rav Squad moving in here. Panzer Pionier and the bike here in heroic defense. 250 after the force not repaired. The Jeep right from nearby. Do we have any grenades here for Stana? We do not. Hunter Pioneer though, half track heavily damaged, and another push in the car point, really aggressive play, that certainly is one of the things after they added this car point, it's ran to it, really kind of made this a bit more difficult to push Norfolk's as the Eastern player, because if you do, this point is really going to get hit a lot. So, another rough score there for Stana though, and the second armor division, Basil galloping right past me again. 250 half tech medicines one, but it's also about to blow up and blow up. It did a smashing blow here to Zuntev in the early game here from Stana. Leaves Zuntev significantly less mechanized, removes an otherwise solid infant support platform. Northern point DBC for the bike. Panzer Grenadiers sitting out here, and we got more Panzer Grenadiers there for Zuntev. No sign yet of a battle group here though for Zuntev. Admittedly, it could be anything. Rav scores moving forwards here. Total of three of them. Engaging here the scouts inside the house. Got the Panzer Grenadiers moving up. Got the Rav moving forwards here. Looks like it's going to try and again go for the car point. At this point, I mean, Zuntev may want to like set up a machine gun or some mines here. Could go for infantry. The 10 infantry, this may be a machine gun bunker. We'll have to see here. He is keeping up good pressure, though, forcing maybe Stana to have like defend his own cutoff point. But for now, though, Stana is beelining for this cutoff point as if, though, it's actually a fuel point. So, aggressive plays here from both sides. Rav Squad coming up here, threatening the retreat path here with a lot of Suntov's forces. Infant support sent up as well here for Stana. Thumbs up to that. Over to Zuntev. 
No battle group chosen yet. Panzer Pioneer then some pretty deep sauerkraut here. Good chance of wipe here. Very good chance. Talk about lucky of Azuntev. Very lucky. In this west here, though, Panzer is pushing forward here. Clearly thinking, you know what? They might as well just hurt the opponent's economy here. Because in a sense, I mean, if he keeps having to defend, he obviously he's going to just get all the resources free here anyways. But it's like, you know, he's going to still keep losing resources. He might as well try and hit his opponent's resource hard as well. This, that way, Stana doesn't actually gain as much from these harassment tactics as he'd like anyways. Obviously, it's not without risks, but there's a certain logic to what Suntev is doing here. No tech though here for Suntev. I feel like most DAC players at this stage were like, you know, teched up at this point. But Suntev is... Clearly more happy with the more aggressive earlier tier 1 here. Go ahead. He's also not just rendering them neutral. He's not trying to capture them in part because he doesn't... Well, he's not connected anyway, so he may as well not bother. So he may as well just try and hurt his opponent's economy as much as possible. Bring in here for the cutoff point. We got a raft court there guarding it. And again, making things here tougher for Zuntev. Really aggressive play here. Definitely adding some pressure here to Zuntev. Big pressure. Still no tank here. Panzer Pioneer in trouble with the two Raft squads. West side here, we got the Jeep supported by a lot of infantry pushing up here. Panzer's been pushed off. Low on health. Need to be careful there. We got 461 versus 470. Big two points wise, it is fairly close. For now, at least. Bike being repaired. I do wonder what Suntavi is planning, though. He's not taking. He's not calling in more units. But it's a bit hard to say that what exactly Suntavi is planning. Okay, there we go. That would explain it. He's actually planning to go for the L640s. Basically looking to turn the tables here of Stana O extending towards the cutoff point with a light tank rush here. A bold but explosive strategy here. Italian on arm and up heading in into Sundar's forces. Oh, Stana's forces there completely blindsided. My god, they're bringing in Italian tanks. Wait, what? There you go, the 2L640, see it ripping into him with auto cannons. It was one of the most produced Italian tanks because they could easily produce them. Of course, they realized that wasn't that much an advantage. And there you go, though, sadly for Zuntev, though, Stana's got a great and ready. Unfortunately for Stana, though, the 2L640s can, after the buffs, actually take on a Greyhound here. So. Stana's Greyhound Rush unfortunately hits a bit of a snag. There's the two light Italian tanks ripped through here. Stana's Greyhound. So, definitely soon to be slightly turn the tables around. He got the Greyhound. He didn't get any wipes, but he's managed to break the blockade on his cutoff point here. And so, and there's always something to keep in mind of as a DAC player. like, you know. You want to like be ready for a potential L640 rush, and they should get any other indicator he's gone for something else. This definitely provides a certain amount of shock element in there now. I would not be surprised though if Stunner doesn't go for like a Chaffee next here to counter the L640s, because while the Greyhound may struggle against these two, uh, the Chaffee does not. Scouts though are about to have scouted the last possession as the L640s rip through them. South side here, Rafa moving up. Eventually, by the way, L640 production will be shifted towards the Sim Inventive 4732, which is basically one of the world's smallest assault guns of the war. Panzer goes to Rafa's court here, but certainly make more sense than pushing up all of these. South side issues with Rappen back here. We do finally get take off Zund, of course, now that he's got the lightly town tanks on the field here. He is ready, of course, for something bigger. Jeep hanging back here. Obviously, Starner here knows what happens if he sends the Jeep out into the L640s. He's going to very quickly find himself short one Jeep. Yeah, the Chaffee is going to be headed here. We do get Panzergas, as obviously Suntiv is under no illusion what's going to happen next here. Which is, of course, a Chaffee is going to come and knock out his L640 light tanks. That said, he's going to try and pelt up with anti tank grenades here. No, he doesn't have it researched. Of course, because he didn't take up. So the Chaffee is able to sort of very free, free to degree here, move around against Suntiv's light tanks and other light vehicles. That's one light tank tank there, kaput. 
East side of Rams goes the bike, pushing in here with the Chaffee, moving in here towards Suntip territories. And let's pop out to start in a few moments. We've got mines here though from Suntip. They should see me in the Svan 250 here with Panchegas engaging the Chaffee light tank and 75 minute cannon. Quick withdrawing here. Panzer Peony around it. Captain of Trouble's got Sunday there with a big infantry push over to Stana. Was gone for the Allied War Machine ability there to, of course, decrease the cost for his light vehicles. Going for another Greyhound. I mean, at 210 manpower, it is very cheap. And suddenly, so is the Chaffee Light Tank. So that's definitely going to add some fresh pressure here on to Zuntip and the Germans. He's going for more Panzerjägers, likely anticipating now a lot of light vehicles. In part because, you know, his opponent's gone for a battle group that really benefits from it. And if he's figured out his opponent's gone for War Machine, you know, he's probably also going to figure out, you know, that's going to be a lot of light vehicles. So we'll have to course, see there how exactly he deals with this, except with more Panzerjägers. Engineers on the way there for Starner. Very necessary, obviously, since he's got no other way of repairing his vehicles. There's light tanks. Fire support elements there for Zuntev. And the Deutsches Afrika Corps. Grand gang, the Panzer Grenadiers. Right, going for the Rappen again. Aggressive harassment play by Stalner, messing there with Suntiv's economy wherever he can. Grand letting out against the Panzer Grenadier. Back at base here, nothing further going here for Stalner. No BARs. No infantry upgrades by the looks of it. North point being seized, ready to threaten here. Zuntev's northern field point. Panzerjägers, Panzer Pioneer forming up a strong nucleus. S. Stana and the second arm at launching assault here on the villa. L640s and Panzerjägers nearby in the half track supporting further. Stana those being pushed back. And there goes Stuart. Star Zuntev launches a flank assault here into the side of Stana's assault on the villa. Causing problems there. Captain calling artillery here. Mine spider being swept away by Stana. Heading the field up north here. Captain goes down. Good work here of by Zuntev against Stana. But Stana, of course, is far from out of this match. He he's lost his captain. Right being pushed back here. Pulling back further as the engagement has now, well, kind of gone in the favor ultimately of Zuntev. Stana was not able to break through fast enough here. And start Zuntev was able to then counter attack Stana. Jeep trying to get away. We've got the Italian L640 flanking it. Ripping through the lightly armored Jeep. With its 20mm auto cannon. Almost got the L640, oh, the Jeep. Got it. And we got a Vetching too, the L64 is here for Zuntev as well. Another ground out here for Stana. Really heavy motor pool play. Back at base here for Zuntev, and nothing further trench bangers yet. Building up his forces here. We got healing, we got reinforcements. Well, not healing apparently. His troops withdrawing. Doesn't have an ambulance either. Going for that northern fuel point. Got map control here from Stana so far. Got 430 versus 378. Big two points wise, the Americans are leading so far fairly well here against the Germans. Still on the side of upgrades. We do get a pack 38 there for Zuntev. Certainly some advanced logistics here. Could be particularly with like four rifle squads and engineers could be a really strong idea here for Stana. Certainly allowed to set up more map on the long run, which of course combined with War Machine could lead to some very cheeky stuff. So Panzer Abwehr Kanone 38 here for Zuntev and the 15th Panzer Grenadier Sean, 7th Panzer Grenadier Compagnie. We got mines here though from Zuntev, very good. Panzer goes Panzer X Wing Force. We've got a Ralph Squad holding up here by the munitions point, but they're all well. They're being struck and they're being forced back. We got the L64 engaging the Greyhound, right moving up. More Greyhounds to the rate engage the Italian tank, gaining the vengeance for the previous Greyhound loss to them. Third Greyhound. Wow, it's really bad to see like anyone commit that heavily to Greyhounds. But I suppose with the buffs, and you know, again, the battle group here, there's a certain logic to it. But still, it's a. Uh, Kinda rare to see here. That's a pretty heavy cavalry unit here from Stana. Certainly forcing Sun to be on the defensive, though he's got the Panzer up there, Kanona 38 ready now. Greyhound slowly inching forwards. 
rounds flying back. Fun fact about German anti-tank guns, but they'd use a little trick there where they actually were a bit lighter in terms of their gun shields than anti-tank guns because when most anti-tank guns used to use a single sheet of you know, thick metal, the Germans would actually use two thinner sheets of spaced metal that would apply you know, roughly the same you know, amount of defense as you know, a single plate of the same thickness, but you know, just lighter. Fun fact. Oh, roughly that's how it's to go anyways. Grand's there falling back here. Got the bike hanging back. Got the Panzer Army Commando here for Suntev. Big push here for Suntev. In fact, let's pop out to Suntev's perspective. Certainly could benefit there from defense operations for some telemines here. And obviously a machine gun bunker to cover the cover point. Could also be something to consider here for Suntev. Out, I suppose, is also an option. Massive vehicle pool here for Starnus and Operable. We get the medical station, we got BARs, very good. And of course, if it gets the upgrade for cheap reinforcements, I think that'd be really strong there for Starna. Rolls goes the Panzer Jaegers, the Panzer Grenadiers, and Panzer Pioneer. A storm of fire there being unleashed upon them. 250 upfront support here of North American forces breaching the northern lines here, forcing Sun to sleeve whatever point is got here by the villa, utterly abandoned. Meanwhile, those stars getting ready for a push here. Greyhounds racing forwards. Bit risky because he's put, you know, some points going to tank guns and Panzigas now. But it seems like Stana, rather than go for flank assault, he treats his Greyhounds as tanks. He does wipe the Panzer Pioneers. But it does come at the total cost of a Greyhound. And I'm not entirely sure that is entirely worth it here for Stana. If anything, it's probably better there for Zunta than for Stana. So definitely, I think, a bit of optimal here by Stana. But that said, Stana's been doing pretty well overall otherwise. It's not like you know, it's going to be like you know, a game-changing move, but you know. Just more to come. There we go. Going for the Pack 38 here. Soon to have actually been unguarded here in the Greyhound trying to take it out. He almost got the crew, in fact. Could score a wipe here. Close call. And we got Sound the Alarm actually being utilized. Wow, it is a very rarely utilized ability, I would like to add. Very rarely utilized. I'm not entirely sure where he utilized it, but he did use it. Pack 38, the clear up. Barbie and Robin engaging, but they're caught in a bit of a bad situation as they're under fire from the side. Chaffee rushing in here, going for the flank here. Robin there taking up, punishing losses there. Chaffee's close to taking out here the L640 here. Robin doing with the camera, it's not enough here. And we got, what is this? We got a flag 36 here out of Zuntem as his first unit from the Panzer May Commando. Most players here would have gone for Panzer 3 or Stuttgart's Woods, but Zuntem here goes for the flag 36. All right. That's a choice. So there you go, flag 36 there, ready. North here, bike there, realizing it finds itself way far behind enemy territory. We got a machine gun now on the way as well here for Zuntev. And he's actually mounting the Flak 56 onto the 250 half track. We're towing it up. Interesting choice there. Run the use of the Uber Blitz, probably because he figures the Uber Blitz actually provides him a bit more utility now due to being able to enforce his troops, whereas the 250 can't. That could be the logic there. Chaffee repairs, Greyhound fix up at least. Got prepared position, so at this point he's got almost all the abilities selected. Ready to go again. Fence or sound the alarm there. Definitely did not expect that one. It's definitely one of those more interesting abilities. Meanwhile, West Side Rouse coming up here. Full three squads they equipped with the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle. A World War One era light machine gun. Large squad in the fight from the Panzer Grenadier. And the L640. Going for that northwestern victory point. We got 275 here versus 118. And there we go. We, he's going for the Obiche. 305 barrage. What on. Oh! Wow, that, that, someone actually survived that. I mean, I suspect he's going to need a fresh pair of underpants if he survives that further. But no, it gets wiped. 
that's a wipe there, but yeah, using that one just for that. Wow. Rascal, that takes a bit of nasty as well here. Massive burst there. From the Obitia 305, which, by the way, I believe was a World War One era artillery piece, by the way. The Italians had quite a few of those. I mean, two of these massive ones were used typically more by coastal defense units. Meanwhile, as all this happened, though, they got Stan attacking Sunta's base with the ground and possibly the Chaffee. But that said, it does mean his rifle in the West are utterly unsupported. He's actually lost two rifle squads by now. Stan is taking massive losses, though, to Sunta. Probably in part because he wasn't expecting his opponent to go for like that massive artillery patch like he did. I mean, most players would never do that, but then again, most players would never go straight into a flag 36. We've got mines on the car pond here. Stana definitely doing his best. He got more rifle in the way there, more GIs. We got Seek and Destroy, the part of me, I think, the kind of map in the place I'll hear from Zunte would expect it maybe a Scott. Flag 36 setting up here. 250 traffic nearby. Greyhound there caught in front of it. At least soon in front of the Flag 36. Turning here, the massive gun towards it. 250 down, but the Greyhound gets knocked out in return. And the Chaffee goes down as well. Massive blows here to Stana. He just lost all of his vehicles on top of two rifle squads in a matter of minutes. What an absolutely brutal turn of events here. All hail the Flak 36. Panzer's falling back here. Got a Lactus and Fanslager shirts here for Zuntep, calling a bit of light artillery. Got the GRs pushing forwards with the BAR. We got an ambulance on the way there for Zuntep. Stana, though, is definitely going to have to work very hard to like, come back from this because he just, and he just lost pretty much half his force here while comparatively doing negligible damage to his opponent. Mine goes off there on some retreating units. We got the 250 after again being set to tow the Fleck 36. So. This is clearly intentional, and I'm guessing it's just because the 250 half tank is fairly mobile with it. Sector gone. So he clearly knows what he wants from the Flak 36. He knows. A victory point is More rifle in there for Stana, very good. But, crucially worth noting, still no nothing like advanced logistics or survival training here. I do feel like, you know, that's something should add up sooner here at this point. It could be something that might make this tougher to sort of recover from for Stana. North here we got the MD-34 hiding out here in the shrubberies, engaging some Americans. We've lost control of a sector. So flag 36 there. We got ambulance as well here. Obel Blitz. Big lump of forces here from Zuntev. Astana's just looking to capture as much as he lost here to his opponent. He's also not far away from a Sherman EC8 here. Three and sixty-four. This one's seventy-five. Rounding more by the Panzer gun is out in the open. Got the M1 entering the position up north here, pumping grab. And a mort here for Stana. Got a Sweden push towards west here. The Pack 38s Panzer guns, and we got the L640 at ace level. Good golly. 355, 275, more to almost done there for Stana. There you go. Right from there, doing what they can here. But it's a very light line of defense. We've got another to strike here from Zuntep. I imagine Stana this time around learns his lesson and he just retreats before he suffers to losses. This does mean the entertainer has to expose the infantry, further compounding Stana's issues. As Zuntep comes rolling forward, but there you go. Mine at least saves the entertainer. Cruz Bacon mildly. Unfortunately for Stana, Zuntep had an ace. Level 6 forward nearby, EC8 there, available. Smoke deployed, trying to cut the treating out entertainment, but it's just too little, too late. Great for Suntev, but obviously a headache and a half here for Stana. And he's going to destroy the entertainment gun because, well, he doesn't need it. He's got a flat 36. Who needs a puny American anti tank gun? We have a flat 36. That's the major question there. Center there with another big push. East side here, wrapping up. We got a big push there by Zunt Astana. Basically avoiding major confrontation head on with Zunta. I think that's a very smart move. He's also going to like to push with the card of point again. We got line for guns here. We got flank 46s, pack 48s. 
Oh, he goes for a flank anyways. But again, notely, again, he's instead of just charging up, he's trying to move around here. I think that none of this is a smart move. Of course, there is still the L640 here to contend with. Going here for a potential weapon of the Panzer Pioneer, that would certainly have certain to and the Germans, but Stana can't quite seem to get that finishing blow in on the Panzer Pioneer. 3 and 14 versus a 12 actually versus 275 over to Zuntev. The enemy has the advantage here. And Zuntev is starting to catch up to Stani in terms of victory points though. So this is where things get a bit more roughy for Oh Stana and there you go. Ryan to mine there. Heavy loss of the rifleman there. Great mine there from Zunta. Flak 36, MG34 here. Obviously the Flak 36 is not going to do too much for his infantry though. Technically they did have a high explosive shells. In fact, they could be used as artillery pieces when would act at times during the war be used as artillery batteries. Flak 36 batteries that is. So, fun fact. More turn to fire from the Lacta Infantry Geschutz. Ram the Western fuel to reconnect the fuel overall. Mortars close being wiped out. Forced off the victory point. We've got the route board here. We've got the bike moving in. Nothing further out here for Zuntep. Could go for Pentafee now. He could also go for Armored Reserves, obviously. Trying to hold out fatigue or something like that. That might arguably be a bit too ambitious. We'll have to see. Zuntep there, the overall setting up a big position around the center of the map here with enter tank gun to salute pieces. Flak 36s. And there you go. Ace L6 Fortune Drive. We've got a snare off here, though. Giving the crew quite the shock. Most of that, they survived that in the first place. We're alive! We're alive! Oh, God, this is so confusing. Uh, Rav Squad pushing into the Panzer Gunner DC and D4 ripping into them. Not a great push here by Stana. And there we go. We got Sound the Alarm again. Not as necessary, but it certainly sends a message. Sun down to a little bit of resource. Got the most jolling in here the front. 275 versus 240. Sun Tip now definitely draws the lead here over Stana. Around the point, we've got the Raptor going for the bike here. Oh, nice head here, catching our troops there, right by the base entrance. Wipes the mortar creeping. Only painful there for Stana. But another head on assault here into the MG34. Anything but a deal here, unless, of course, you are Zuntev, in which case your opponent moving straight into your machine gun is typically very good. Going for that flank with the Rouse Quartier hitting in hard here. Normal pump grab, and then you need to get 25 is 199. Stana's attacks here definitely. Not particularly efficient, like he's just bleeding out a lot here while doing some damage, but I feel like he's just taking much heavy losses here, and I mean, again, if he's got that ability to like, make his troop chief reinforce, it might sort of work out for him, but without it, it's going to be, I think, fairly expensive without really making any significance here, gains against Sunder, particularly since, you know, he's got the truck and the ambulance, so he can easily reinforce and heal at the front line, so... Stana really needs like, you know, hit Suntev hard, like, he needs to actually force him off, they can't just, like, hope to beat him out in that way, force would like, just go back to reinforce, so. Got the motor recruit at least, very good. Smokescreen, very good, definitely much more useful here, he's gonna keep up with these tactics, he will need smoke. So, two thumbs up for that, up north here, engineers moving forwards, what makes these with the bike? Light in front, so goes to the firing way. We've got the anti and holding back. We've got mines here down from both sides. Good job, mining, of course, for both players. Good job. Up north here. Not much happening. Stana could, of course, try and flank around here. Maybe, like, push it here. Use the villa against Suntev. Of course, if Suntev takes the bait, that, of course, is the thing he may not. He could just go for his opponent's card off point while Stana does that. Yes, Zuntip just seems to be waiting here for Stana to make his move. Like, he's got most of the victory points, he's got the victory point lead. In many regards, Zuntip is, like, in a fairly good position, and he's even laying down mines here. Worth noting, not anti tank mines. Of course, again, he went for San Lama with that one. 
And Sun Tzu there wants Stana to make the move, but again, Stana, you know, is obviously not to key on that. Actually firing down here, Rajkum to the punch because he got the flag for too much support, and we got the MD34. Another sound the alarm. Suntav is definitely sounding the alarm here, that's for sure. Rout Scores, they're taking massive amounts of damage. We'll need to withdraw them now before suffers no well, needless manpower losses. Got them all firing down here. We got another push for the south here. Hoping to hit into a more exposed underbelly here from Suntav. There we go. But also sneaking in easy for the northwestern fuel point. Soon to pushing towards the resources again here in the west, looking to watch more sever Stana supply lines. Very good. Over to Stana. Who's going for five rifle scores? Good god, no easy eights too either, and still no upgrades. That's uh, quite the interesting choice here for Stana. And definitely he's going for six? Good god! He's taking rifle spam to the next level. But again, at this stage, he really strongly would benefit from advanced logistics. Amongst other things. And of course, survival training just to like both make the rock more survival, but also, you know, make them cheaper to enforce because there's always a good chance that Stana just starts to bleed quite profusely. Rod Squad pushing in here. L630 turning its gun here to the advancing rifle well, artillery firing down here. And another sound the alarm. But Stana is not dissuaded. He keeps up the assault despite the Germans being plenty alarmed. Almost got the MD34 crew here. Grenades being chucked at the direction of the Pentagon is here. Got the north and fuel point here for Stana, right behind Zunteb's back. Crewing the machine gun here. And we got Sansa in from a bit of trouble here. Could risk a wipe. Really close call, but looks like the last man does make it. He's gonna like be bleeding a lot. He's gonna need to like, you know, replace a lot of losses. Up north here, though. L640 with bike and Panzer X40 catching the gears here. Around the western victory point, we got 175 here. Stana is starting to uh, look awfully exposed here. Something needs to change here. Tactically and strategically. Got another head on push here from Stana. Smoke that's being deployed to support the advance. Thumbs up. We got a second wave of infantry following up the initial vanguard here of raw recruits. 98 with 275. More mortified here. Troops taking heavy losses. Smoke deployed. Still, machine gun in a bit of a danger zone there. Go for a sounding the alarm once more. The point I imagine summoning German high command must start be asking questions here. Why does it keep sounding the alarm? Answer like plenty of alarm now? Machine gun taking that, and that's a good wipe here for Stana. Of course, needs to take out more, but if he can get it and turn against Suntiv, that would certainly do Stani a lot of good. And there you go, does make a run here for the Infantry for Bike doing what he can here. It's Vecchi too, but he's taking fire here from the Americans. Interesting there, Columbus, take it out here. Got it! Suntiv's losses are starting to pile up a bit now. Perhaps got too comfortable with the current situation, with the status quo. And now Stana is taking him to task for it. Try the rushing forwards. Oh dear. Wow, the anti tank gun misses the orbital blitz, despite the orbital blitz not exactly being uh, a hard hit target. Back at base here for Zuntib. Nothing her that's transpiring. Panzerjägers, Panzergun is moving forwards here. Got heavy fight. Being possibly planned out here by Sunt as well. In the south, those Sunt's forces are repulsed by Astana. 
Craft moving in here, we got mortifying down death as well here. Airburst shells for the sound of it, maybe. Or not. Assault continues, mines going off here, mortifying down death here. Losses are piling up, grenades being charged here. In there, going to test strike, I think, called in here by Zuntev to slow down Stannis' advance. Yes, indeed, of course, he needs to be careful he doesn't hit his own men. Yes, there's definitely friendly fire on that one. Those birds got sent running off. Mine's head off as well. Got 260 versus 97. Zuntev's really managed to end the corner here against Stana now. No sound of panzers yet. North here, fresh fight for Northern Field Point. Astana once more to lock over to Suntep, but this time Suntep was ready. The L640 was at hand, and an ace level definitely a real nightmare here for the engineers. Never mind the cause of the rest of his forces. Carrying into the retreating engineers and scoring a wipe there. So Astana's position is uh, definitely a lot more precarious. He's clearly a fighter though, and he is clearly far from out of this match, but is nonetheless suffering quite grievously here. And no sign of tank depot, no sign of ECH as of yet, just more and more riflemen. Does he at least have some upgrades for them? I guess not. So, back at base here for Zuntev. No signs of panzers. Or well, heavy panzer core. Upgrades. Not upgrades, but you know, the um, armor reserves upgrade. Big push here by uh, soon to get Triple panzer going for machine guns. Vetsy fee there. Vets and squad leads back up the L640 here. And Stana's men out in the open icy targets. We got once more. Sound the alarm. 260 versus 69. Stana is holding on for dear life here in the face of Sudtev and the German army. The 15th Panzer Gunnation, Rav not taking any damage. South side machine living moving forwards. It is the ME34 team finally being sent to the front line here by Zuntev. Stana, I mean, not by Zuntev. Telefar heading into the right from here. Zuntev a bit with his back against the wall here by the villa. Of course, he still has a big, big two point lead of his opponent now. Smoke being deployed here by both sides. The enemy has lowered our victory points to 250. 249 versus 69. Raven passing through the smoke, only found cells faced off the lot of germs. There you go. Anti tank and scores here in the ambulance. One more shot's going to go down. Airbus shells in the early G18. I like this infantry like a shit, I'd say. Round squad being pushed back. Up north, the um, German assault he continues against the Americans. Round squad, they're forgotten by Stana, and that's going to be a wipe and a BAR drop there. That extra painful here for Stana. Extra painful. He still, of course, has five rather squads. That again, he may not have actually gone for any of the upgrades besides the BAR there. And now we got the armor search being planned out here by Zuntev. Finally starting to bring in something perhaps a bit bigger here than an L640. Big swing of push and there you go. Pantagon is not just from the MG34 but the BAR. And another sound the alarm. Fighting here is utterly relentless, utterly brutal, utterly merciless. And there you go, we got Stana flanking Sun TV as it goes for the victory point. Stana was ready for this development. He engaged the enemy with the anti tank gun. No mercy here from Stana. Mortifying gun death here. Sun TV's position is definitely looking a bit hazardous now. Though he's still, I think, overall looking very good, but that could quickly change. And we got a deeper flank of the Raft Squad. Thumbs up there to Stana. That is. Much better, I think. Add some potential, much bigger problems here for Zuntev. Already got one squad here, the front line routed, and now we got more squads infiltrating and hitting the rear here of Zuntev. So, this is definitely getting a bit tough here for Zuntev. As Stana, I think, is you know, possibly looking like he might stage a comeback. And there you go, 250 half takedown, ambulance or oh, flak 36 exposed. 
We still got the two trucks, the ambulance and the regular global blitz. Rapping 40, almost got the entertainment here. Rapping being mauled. We got 233 versus 69. Assault keeps up here, but Stana is ultimately unable to maintain it for much longer. We have to withdraw here, even with the MG34 suppressing some of Sunter's men. Sunter remains firmly dug in here by the villa. And we got Stana with a fifth round score. He's got so much fuel, but beyond that, not much else. No tanks at this point. And it would appear no upgrades whatsoever. That's I think a bit of an oversight here by Stan and uh, you know, something that really makes this infantry heavy strategy much more expensive for him. Still he's got, you know, managed to gain some control over the Suntev, so clearly he's doing something right. This I feel like coming with a bit of a high price tag. So the question is really how much longer can Stana sustain this versus Suntev? Take out one soon to say caught in the tiger tank. Stana's current approach to things might just be insufficient. 69 is 224. Grab the southern victory point away from the British. Not the Americans, not the British. Sorry about that. Mind being petty by Zuntev. Thumbs up. Are you finding around the sandy? We got more to joining in. Up north here, another push in the victory point here. Stana clear looking to get the triple cap going in soon to looking to turn the tide here in the south. We got the Panzer here, caught in a pretty bad position and situation overall. Two routes with bars plus a MG34. It could possibly sort of wipe here on soon tips Panzer Gunners, but no fortune smiles upon him and he is able to get the last man back before he gets wiped. Close call though. Balch for 10 from the Panzer against the Panzer against the L640. It's a bit of quiet here. Still no sign of armor here though from Stana and still no sign of upgrades either for the Rodman besides the BAR and probably the grenades. I do feel like that is uh, again a bit of no study for Stana. Again, despite that, in spite of that, he's still like, you know, able to put a good pressure against his opponent. But imagine the amount of pressure you could put on of like, you know, you just cheaper reinforce reinforce his units and maybe put the manpower towards something like, oh, I don't know, a Sherman Easy 8. Or any number of tanks. We've got 69 to 215 here. Starnik can hold out here versus Untep. Got the Rathcon here from the Panzer Gunners. We got the Panzer as well nearby. Southern Point being seized. And we got the Light Infantry Rush going at it. Rapping under fire here. Mortifying down death. Airburst shells. I mean, Suntev's right now has got his back against the wall again, despite you know, an otherwise strong position. Stars being able to just pressure him constantly here. And he's once more gone for the carve point. point there you go, machine coverage. Well, we got the L640 rushing into the entity. Nope, oh, it's an ace level anti tank gun. But there you go, smoke deployed here. Messing with things here. A brave push here by Suntev. Risking his L640 just to cover the cutoff point there for some smoke. Thumbs up. Nemo, bigger kind of push here though. By Zuntev. Pulls away the Americans finally. Flak 36 being moved up as well. 69 is on 93. More smoke. Sector gone. We must take it back. Swing attacking on the flank of the Panzer 69 is on a 90. Zuntev is back to bleeding out his Dana. Panzer has been wiped out. Down they go, other squad flanking end here. More heavy fire there, L640, the ace though being heavily damaged. Got airburst shells, got grenades here. Suntev's Panzer Grenadiers stand their ground. For how much longer can they withstand this absolute wave of democracy? Panzer's they're caught on the nation's point being pushed back. Stana has really managed to bounce back from any very tough position, but it's only highlighting just how powerful Rob Nightmarks are. Things here. 
probably does help though that Suntip's not exactly got a lot of tanks out to help deal with it. I mean, he's got the L640, but otherwise, no significant armored heart comes here to all these riflemen. Of course, he does go for the Tiger tank. He may just have something there. The Satiga! And once more, the cough point is hit. And supply lines for Suntip and the German army are severed. Over to Suntip. And there you go, Tiger is out. A tiger tank. At which point things are about to get a bit more uncomfortable once more here for Starner. That's on top of course everything else. He now also has to contend with a tiger tank. So how will Stan respond to once he sees the tiger tank? Obviously he hasn't seen it yet, so of course he may at this point already start to like hear something in the horizon. A low rumbling, like a self-propelled mountain coming his way. Big force are being hit with the chili fire. And other forms of fire here really tearing through here. Stana's forces. Tiger moving in. Great shot there. Clearing out the support weapon there. Was it the rifle squad? No, it was the mortar crew that I got to decimate. And Rifle are now taking massive loss well here. The Tiger tank is just tearing through Stana here. Another series of catch here. Piling up for the Americans. Tiger advances. Backing up here the Panthers. Is Deep aggressive push here by Zuntev. Bleed by the power of the Tiger tank here. And definitely a major headache here now for Stana. Doesn't have like any tank destroyers. He's got one anti tank. And he's going for more though. He does uh, lack, shall I say, some more harder counters here to the Tiger in a sense. But he's going to need a lot of chaffies to flank it. A lot of chaffies. 143 63 here. Stana is running out of time. He will need to do something about it soon. Admittedly, Suntip doesn't have a lot either. And there you go. Rifle straight to the Tiger tank. He's exiting fire with machine gun ripping through the troops nearby the Tiger. 143 here versus 44. Stana's situation is not improving in anything. It is getting worse here now. Blackface coming up. He got the anti tank chart here for Stana. Could take out Suntip's truck here and leave the flak 56 to exposed it looks like he doesn't get it l640 here though diving in hard with some ace punts are going to we got the tiger tank flanking in here clearing out one of the anti-tank crews and not just any of the anti-tank crews but the ace one meaning stana loss and some pretty good bonuses to both penetration and rate of fire that was really painful and actually really good for swim tip even if stana cruised the anti-tank as you saw there it doesn't matter. I mean, again, the loss is just significantly bigger because of all the experience he didn't lose there. Am is being pushed back. He got 135 to 36 here. More mines going off here. Hunters with triple riflemen with a lot of bars. Tiger, they're pushing forward. You could actually buff or puff up the S-Man launchers here. Do it. S-Man launchers, Suntev. Oh, bother. that. Still, that's since he won Tiger tank here. And the S-Man launcher there would have been quite powerful there. Could have perhaps killed a white. Which would definitely left uh, Stana. There you go. Vibeman advances 40 into the line of fire of the Tiger tank. Despite knowing it's rough in the vicinity, I'm not entirely sure what Stana was thinking for that, unless he's just like utterly like just taxed out at this point mentally. Panzer is pushing in here, backed up by the Tiger. We got a full route here from Stana. He's down to 36, but his guys are coming down to 122. The fire is holding on here. L G A G T holding up here. L E G. The south here. Panzer is pushed back here. Stana continues to put up a brave fight, but cracks, I feel like, are somewhat slowly starting to appear here. We still got that flag 36 being moved around by that over blitz. Really well handled by that flag 36, to be honest. Thumbs up there to Sunter for that one. And in 12 versus 36. 
Going for that cutoff point again. And now got another Sunny Alarm. I mean, that's one way to cover the car points as well here, since Sunny Alarm also makes it take much more time to actually capture in the first place. So. There you go. Guns are pounded off the cutoff point here. We got 104 versus 36. Over to Sana again. Triple anti tank guns. Six rifle squads and a machine gun. But I bet he still doesn't have like any upgrades here. Yes, indeed. Which simply means he's going to be bleeding a lot more manpower than he could otherwise, I think, you know, easily avoid. And crucially, you know, Lars might lose out on chance to call in an EC8 here, something else here, versus Sunte. So 36 to 98 here. Match that is also slowly approaching the one hour mark here. A real just long match here. As both players are proving to be quite tenacious, quite ruthless, quite stubborn. Grenades here going off in the Tiger tank and Tiger Fire as well here. Fortunately, there for Zuntev. And the tanks that weren't quite in a position to fully let go there. Only one was able to hit the Tiger tank. So that's very fortunate there for Zuntev's Tiger. 28 versus 98. Tiger tank tank headship and enter tank guns. Route squads pushing forward into the ace. Punts are going to be here and they are getting more. We do get grenades here. But we also got artillery called in on Stana's force in the southeast here. Machine hub against advancing Panzer Gunner squad. It is a nutty fight here. The unrelenting carnival of carnage. They actually team defeated 14 of Stana. We got those Panzer Gunners being forced off. Back at base here for Zuntep. And nothing further transpiring except some healing reinforcements. And there we go. L640 rushing in. Clearing out the machine gun there, but we got the anti tanks nearby, ready to rip, rip it apart here. Oh, there we go. Most shots initially missed, but there we go. That should be it here for the L640. Soon to forgot about it. Costing him his ace light tank. 22 versus 98. Starner is a fighter here. Last going forward, he got the amateur range of the way here, things. Anti tanks pursuing the Antigua here. Ambulance Coast being knocked out. There you go. Snare on it. Ambulance Coast being knocked out. Here we got the truck hauling the flag for the six. Also in trouble. Moving westwards. And it hits a mine. Oh dear. And the ambulance went down. Heavy blows here to Zunta from Stana. Really strong push there. And now Stana definitely like holds a good chunk of the map again. Tiga there is Retchney too, but Zuntev does have a lot of issues, a lot of challenges on his hand here. 22 versus 98, finding here for the west side, flag 36, actually grabbed here by Stana and used against Zuntev, though he'd need to find something to turn in the first place. Snares off on the Tiga, and there you go, flag 36 just abandoned. Zuntev's situation is once more getting uh, precarious. This has definitely been a match with some uh, rather impressive shifts in who's like looking like they got the upper hand. But Suntep is not a quitter here. He's counterattacking. He's hitting back hard. We got 22 versus 70 here though. Suntep close to being, you know, at the same level of St Stana. Again, we got fresh L640s here, out here though. From Suntep, I think realizing his opponent's just mostly got an infantry and a tank and up, meaning if he used the L640s correctly. Stana could be in a lot of trouble because he has no way of like significantly counting these L640s. Unless sort of like parksmen from the anti tank guns. Oh, he's about to lose one there though. Or not. He's also researched flamethrower upgrades here. Unfortunately though for Zuntiv, that was on his L640 that was like furthest removed from his own forces and also most likely just to, you know, get one shot at an anti tank gun. 22 is 54. The match keeps up. It is not halting here. Tiger tank being repaired here. Soon tip holding on for dear life as Stana fights like a desperate man. Say the word, sir. 22 is 48. 46. <clears throat> Tiger's almost good to go. 
22 is 42. 40. <coughs> 38. 36. Tiga's heading up. 33. Zunta needs to do something. It's now or never. Oh dear. Starner's like, you know, really, man's like, climb back from what's pretty much an abyss here. Good God. Like, really impressive play here. Back to Zuntev. <coughs> 18, 15. No, he... Oh, yeah, he didn't grab it. Got moving forward. See, he does have vehicle caps. He's rushing in the LT4 and the Tiger here. Nine. Six. <coughs> and there we go. GG. Game over. <coughs> Close one here, but in the end, Sunte fell a bit short there, despite all the advantages. He didn't really have good map control for several points of the match here, and at times I think he just spent too much time, you know, being comfortable when he should have been more aggressive and active versus Stan. And Stan just showed some absolutely incredible tenacity of his opponent, really just managed to fight him back from several, like, you know, uncomfortable positions. Some really good play from both sides. I hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, check, comment, tell your friends, tell your family about your enemies. This is Imperial Machine. Cheers, and see you all tomorrow for another episode. Bye, everyone.